Hi everyone, here we've got Yumi DGX and let me share with you how to add a fingerprint to this device. So first of all we have to enter the settings and now let's scroll down and tap on security and location. Here we've got the fingerprint option so let's tap on it and now we are on the very first stage of adding the fingerprint to your device and now it is telling you that you will be uh, able to unlock it with your fingerprint. What's more you will be able to authorize the purchases or sign into apps. So uh, let's tap on next simply. Here we have to choose an additional screen lock and we can choose the pattern pin or password, it's up to you. Um, be aware that you have to set it because if for some reason the fingerprint sensor won't work, then you will be still able to unlock your device. Uh, if not, if you will forget it, uh, then you will have to go through the uh, hard reset operation, and uh, which is uh, irreversible, so you will lose all the data, all the personal data and you won't be able to recover it. So uh, just be sure that you will uh, remember this additional screen lock and simply tap on the option you'd like to use. So I will pick the pattern. Here we've got the secure startup. So your device is asking you if you'd like to uh, enter the password after turning off your device completely and then turning it on. So it's up to you if you'd like to set it. I don't want to, so I will pick no. If you'd like to, just tap on yes, but I will pick no. And now I have to draw the pattern, redraw it and confirm. Here uh, we can decide what kind of notifications we will show on the lock screen. So we can show all the notification content, hide sensitive content or don't show notifications at all. And um, all you have to do right now is simply tap on the option you'd like to use and make sure that it is marked. So uh, I will show all the notification content, it is marked so I can tap on done. Now we have to touch the sensor and I have no idea why it is said that it is on the back of our phone because after turning it, you cannot see the uh, the sensor. It is located right here, so I don't know. But all you have to do is simply tap uh, your uh, sensor. So let me do it. And now we have to do it multiple times in order to add our fingerprint fully. Try to catch every corner for better recognition. Okay, and as you can see, we just added our fingerprint to this device. Of course, you can add another by tapping here. If not, tap on done. Now let's tap on the fingerprint because, because we just got back to the security and location options. So let's enter and let's check if we can customize it. Okay, so here we've got our fingerprint we just added. All we can do right now is simply, for example, tap on it and rename it. You can do it and it was my thumb. It's great idea to rename the fingers. If you've got a lot of fingerprint added, then you can recognize them. And of course, you can remove it just by tapping on the stretch bin icon. So, uh, so actually, this is uh, the whole customization of the fingerprint section. Now let's check if it is working. Let's lock our device and will we have the sensor? Yes, here we've got the sensor so let me put my finger on it and as you can see the uh, device is unblocked so it means that we successfully added our fingerprint to it. What's more you will be able to unlock your device with the additional screen lock so after swiping up you can see that I've got the pattern so after entering it I can also unlock the device. So actually that's all. This is how to add a fingerprint to your Yumi DG X. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was helpful and if it was please hit the subscribe button and leave the thumbs up.